Now here's something I never thought any of us would ever see for the light of day because this guy has been on here for so long, it's crazy that this has happened. For those of you who are unaware, Dr. Disrespect has currently been banned on Twitch. He's been banned on Twitch for different reasons than what we're about to talk to talk about. But there is some things that's been happening ever since. He actually just came out on June 25th with a statement on what's going on, and we're gonna look into that today. But first, I just wanted to say like, of all people, we were going to see this man has a wife, I believe he has kids, and he got into some really, really nasty stuff over the week, and it's just such a shame. Also, I am, I apologize for this video being late. I had my birthday this Monday, and it is also the week that GTA Online and Dark Tide got updated. So yeah, I've been a little occupied, but I'm here now. Yell at Future Jubilator for how late this video comes in. So honestly, the best way to go through this is to, to just look at this. Is basically, he made a quick statement. He wants to cut to the bullshit, still pulling this Alpha Chad thing. Uh, just to say right now, I don't really care for Dr. Disrespect. I don't like the character. But that's just personally me. I know a lot of people love him. I want to leave complete bias out of this. This has nothing to do with the fact that I don't like the character. I definitely don't agree with what he has apparently come out and said that he's done. He says he can basically accept responsibility. He wants to apologize to everyone in his community. That Because this man is really successful. He has his own businesses and stuff like that. He has a whole team behind him. Like, he's not just a Twitch streamer. It looks like he is immediately stepping down from what he is doing. He is stepping down from all his stuff, what his company does and stuff like that. And which is crazy to me, like who is going to be like, is Dr. Disrespect a character that anyone could just be? Or is this something anyone can be that all of a sudden, like are there multiple? I don't know the lore about all this. I'm going to be 100% honest. But yeah, this is happening. One of the most popular streamers on Twitch is stepping down from what it seems. He also goes into the fact that a lot of people have been out been left in the dark and all that stuff and he finally starts to get into the details after this really long tweet that should have just been like what happened so dr disrespect was confirmed uh messaging a minor back in 2017 he was messaging minors there were no photos of anything of that stuff like that but apparently these messages got too apparently these messages got too inappropriate which is very interesting with him saying that he goes along and says that there was no like real intentions behind these messages of course you would never want to just simply say yeah i tried to do this with a minor obviously and i can almost guarantee his legal team is involved in this message as well it's just like um ss sniper Wolf's in message which seemed very strange and very copycatted from jake paul's message apology message and stuff like that he definitely had a legal team proofread this or tell him what to say. A hundred percent. This is not just him by himself. Of course, he's sprinkling in some stuff here and there about the let me cut to the chase. I don't stand for bullshit. I take my mistakes. We get it. But you fucked up, bro. Now, he says he's taking responsibility, which I mean, I guess he is by standing down. Of course, when a YouTuber or anyone gets caught doing this crap, the P word and stuff like that. They never, they're never arrested, which is very strange to me. Like, we love, like, TikTok videos and YouTube videos of catching predators is such a popular thing. You never see these YouTubers get arrested, ever. It's very strange, so I guess all we're gonna see is he's gonna fade out in existence from what I understand. And that's it. That's all they're gonna do to him. Which, God, I hate that. The power of money, ladies and gentlemen. It really is powerful. He goes ahead and says that he's not perfect and that he definitely made a mistake. Dude, I'm just gonna come out and say it. You're messaging a minor. First off, you're already dangling a rope right there for mistakes and stuff like that. Like I said, a lot of my friends are younger in my Discord especially, but I can tell you right now, they start sending me stuff or start talking like that, I'm out. Whether I'm a huge YouTuber or a small YouTuber, whether I talk to them for years or anything like that. You just don't do that. It is that simple. Like, crazy. Why would you want to give up? Like, I'm jealous of the dude. Why would you want to give up everything that you have and now you just threw it all away because you want to talk to someone young? I've been seeing a lot of TikToks that have been making fun of ever since this came out. A lot of TikToks of people being like, you know what? Yeah, it's weird. Why are there a bunch of creeps on YouTube? 
And yeah, that's a genuine question we've been wondering ever since the dream allegations happened. Of course, he was found innocent, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But it's still strange. Like, what is happening? Like, it's, it's so weird to me. And of course, he's going to end it off with the, if you think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not going anywhere. You just said you're stepping down. So what do you mean you're not going anywhere? Like, I don't understand what is going to happen. We have no clarification on... If the Dr. Disrespect character is gone, someone's taking over and he's just working behind the scenes, not in front of the camera. I don't personally know. I don't think anyone knows right now. Right now he's gonna be taking an extended vacation because that's what everyone does when allegations happens. By the way, I'm taking a vacation next week from work, not YouTube, but just j just to let you know, like I'm taking, taking a nine day vacation. Ugh. But I guess we're gonna have to wait and see like, we don't have a lot of info to go on. It's very strange that everything happened. Also, there was weird stuff happening to this message. He was editing it a lot. Editing, someone someone found out that he edited Minor out. I see that it's back in here, so I don't know if he tried to hide it or try to make it not sound as bad as it is, and then was like, oh crap, I got caught, just put it back, whatever. But there's no edited responses. There's no responses at all. <laughs> There's no responses at all to anyone. I know a lot of people who are friends with Dr. Disrespect are freaking out about this. The Ack Man on YouTube, he was defending him. He's like, that guy wouldn't do anything. And then this just came out and he's like, oh crap. All right, I didn't know. So this was really out of the blue. Like this is out of the picture. No one expected this. And it's crazy that of all people, it's this. And once again, if he did do stuff, like, I don't think we'd seen the messages. I don't know how crazy they are. They're crazy enough to the point where he's stepping down. No photos were shared, thank God. But the fact that he has to step down, something was definitely going on. Like, and he's not hiding it. That's why he made this statement. He clearly got caught doing whatever it was. Clearly some issues to it. I doubt the law is going to get involved because they never do with these people for some reason. Unless you're EDP, and even then EDP got away in the end, which is so stupid. But yeah, I can't believe this has happened. I'm not personally a huge Dr. Disrespect fan. I'm not. I never liked the character. I've seen his clips of like PUBG, stuff like that, him raging. He reminds me of me when I play For Honor, and that's not a good side that anyone wants to see. But yeah, this happened, so I guess it just goes to show anybody can apparently be the bad one all right so just watch yourself out there and hope to god your favorite youtuber doesn't become a creep so anyway thanks you guys so much for watching and i will see you all next week